Hey guys, I'm Austin, and I'm making this video basically for um, anyone who's interested in becoming a phlebotomist or someone, a laboratory personnel, someone that works in the lab at a hospital or an outpatient clinic somewhere. Um, uh, like I said, I'm Austin, I live in Louisiana, and I graduated high school in 2016, May of 2016. And I really thought about going into nursing. I was really pretty much dead set on nursing, getting my two year RN degree. And that just didn't work out for me. But I decided that I still wanted to do something in the medical field and I've always been attracted to science. I loved science in school. I was good at science. Um, I was pretty good at math, but I never really liked math. But um, anyway, so I moved to Texas and I got my phlebotomy certification from Lone Star College. Um, I done my clinicals at a, there was an outpatient clinic slash laboratory there where they drew their own blood work and um, mainly they sent their blood work off, I think, to Quest. Um, but anyway, so now I'm, I've moved back to Louisiana and I'm a full-time phlebotomist at Lake Charles Memorial Hospital for women and it's a it's a women a women's campus um, which memorial we have a main campus and then the women's campus and then there's also a, another campus in Lake Charles but um, anyway so that's where women come to have their babies uh, we have a uh, several different doctors there on our campus, they have their offices there and a draw station there where they can get their blood work done. Or you can work where I am in the main in the main hospital uh, area there in the center of the hospital, the main general laboratory. And that's where I work. Um, I've worked there since October of 2017. So I've pretty much been, I've been with them a year. Um, and actually I've had the opportunity to obtain my lab assistant license which in Louisiana um, to become a lab assistant you basically just have to get checked off uh, with the state and with your your employer so the laboratory where you work um, but anyway I was very fortunate and blessed and had the opportunity to do that so I'm very close to getting my lab assistant license I just have to submit some check off sheets and get that done but I wanted to talk a little bit about, I mean, you can look up what phlebotomy is online and even, you know, the job duties of a phlebotomist, but really you don't know what you're getting into until you get a job somewhere. And that's really because your duties vary um, based on where you work. So I work at, you know, the women's campus, uh, a laboratory. And when I first started, I started PRN working 7 to 12.30, Monday through Friday. And I would mainly do the glucose tolerance testing. So um, during a woman's pregnancy, I think when she's around 28 weeks, um, they'll do a one hour glucose tolerance test. So they'll actually um, come to the lab with you know their doctor's orders. Um, and where I work, we will put their orders in the system and then their labels will print and um, you know we go out to the patient area we verify their name and date of birth we will give them their drink we have like a lemon lime or an orange drink and we'll give them their drink and set a timer and then an hour later we draw their blood and so that's for the one hour if they fail their one hour um, which I think I don't know the exact test results that they have to have to fail but if they fail their one hour um, then most of the time the doctor will order a three hour glucose tolerance test and for the three hour they do have to be fasting we do them mainly in the mornings so they'll get there early and we draw fasting glucose from them and as long as their glucose is below 130 we'll go ahead and give them the drink and that's a hundred grams of sugar for the one hour it's 50 grams for the three hour it's 100 grams so we'll give that to them and we draw their fasting, wait for the results, give them their drink, and then from the time we give them their drink, an hour later we will draw their blood, an hour later and an hour later for three hours. Um, and they can't either drink anything during that time. And that's basically pretty much all I did was that, and just draw other outpatients, just normal routine lab work. 
while I was PRN. Now, in June of in June of this year, um, I actually switched to full time working the evening shift. So I didn't really do any of the three hour glucoses since they come in the morning time. And I usually get to work around 11. I'll usually work 11 to 7.30 or 12 to 8.30 now, um, depending on who I'm working with. But on the evening shift now, I mainly draw our inpatients because most of the time when we get there, we'll have a few outpatients that come in for, for lab work. But um, like I said, most of the time it's just inpatients that I'll have to draw. And working at a women's campus, which if you're in phlebotomy school, I'm sure you've learned about PKUs and doing newborn screens on the babies with the heel stick. I do that a lot. We do that. Um, and that's mainly my duty, but it's really, you know, once a baby turns 24 hours from the time they're born, that's when we would do the PKU. Um, so I'm mainly on my evening shift. I, you know, I'll draw some outpatients when I get in and then mainly do our PKUs and then take care of the inpatients, stats, routines, time draws. Um, and, and another thing working at a women's hospital, uh, we do have a NICU. Um, so that's where all of our premature babies will go or babies that are having problems with their blood sugar. Um, they'll go there and they do order labs on them a lot. So we will go there and draw them mainly heel sticks. We only do heel sticks on babies as a phlebotomist. So that's basically, you know, what your duties will entail as a phlebotomist at a women's hospital. Um, now, I don't know. I know at our main campus where, you know, there are multiple floors and, you know, it's, it's a lot different and it's a lot busier actually, which I'm the only phlebotomist really after, let's see, after two o'clock, I'm the only phlebotomist there until I leave. And then we also have a lab assistant and there's usually, a, there's always a med tech there with us. But um, anyway, so yeah, that's basically how it is where I work. Now, I'm gonna get more into the clerical side of it because they don't really teach you this in phlebotomy school, but at least where I work in a like general type core lab, um, at a small hospital, you'll do a lot of clerical duties. Um, you'll get calls from doctor's offices wanting patient results. And so, you know, we'll go in the computer and print out their results and then we'll fax that to the doctor's offices. Uh, like I said, we're actually ordering the patient's test if they, you know, have their doctor's orders. Um, and then once we do get our samples, we also receive the samples in the system and then we'll put them to spin and, you know, do that. Also there is QA that we do so at our draw station at by the doctor's offices they order they register and order their own patient stuff but um, at the end of the day they'll typically bring all of their patients orders that they've had for the day bring them to us and we would actually go through all the orders looking at them looking at the papers and making sure that it matches in the system making sure everything was ordered correctly nothing was missed and that's really important um, that's a really important thing, QA. Um, so that's another one of the clerical duties that you'll do. And that's basically pretty much it for the phlebotomist. Um, if you're interested in becoming a lab assistant, which is different, like everywhere you work and state by state is different, like becoming a lab assistant. Also, I'll say I don't, I don't want it to be confusing, but um, some people that are certified as phlebotomists, people who draw blood, are their title is a lab assistant. Um, and I didn't really know about this until I started actually working where I work, um, but a lab assistant in our hospital um, is basically, basically you have phlebotomy duties like a phlebotomist would, but you also, you know, you process, you process the blood or urine and you'll actually do testing, you'll do the testing on the blood or urine. So uh, our hematology, our CBCs and stuff, you would run those. You would, uh, you also do quality control, so your QC on all the instruments, um, you do that as well. You actually, you do a lot that the med techs do, pretty much everything that the med techs do, um, except reading diffs under the microscope and reading urines under the microscope and blood bank. Lab assistants don't mess with any of that. But as far as actually running the tests and maintenance and QC on all the instruments, you do that as well. So, um, 
I really like where I work. It's challenging working in the medical field, uh, especially in a lab, you never know what you're gonna walk into day by day. Um, you'll have easy days, you'll have days where you're busy and rarely get to sit down, not get a lunch. But most of the time it's, it's, it's really cool. It's, it's, it's really cool. I love, I love my job. I love working in the lab. Um, so yeah, that's basically the duties of a lab assistant. Um, and you know, if you have any more questions, there are a lot of online resources, uh, and I'll try to post some more videos uh, about that. But yeah, I hope that I'm, I've been able to help someone out there who's interested in becoming part of a laboratory team at a hospital. 